guys, it's Jessica from GiveYourselfProps.com. Today we're going to do our first video, uh, reusable banners. You can use these for birthday parties, celebrations, graduations, anything you want. So instead of going out and buying the dollar store banners or banners from Michael's, which cost a fortune, you can keep the same banner and just change it up a little bit. So for this, I have these wooden flag things. You'll see them on Amazon. Very easy to get and very cheap. And then I also have felt, which you can pretty much get anywhere. Get it at the dollar store, get it at Michael's, get it at Walmart. It doesn't matter. And then I have Velcro dots. Now I bought these in bulk, which does not work out for me because they pretty much just bunch together all the time. So I have some felt stuck in my dots and I have a lot of them stuck together because once you're working on stuff you kind of lose it and then you lose a couple of dots but again they're not expensive at all so you take your wooden flag take one out just plain old wooden flag and you put your glue dots on them so you can put either one on either side. Just make sure when you put the dots on, you put it that it is going to stick to the other side and try to stick with the same pattern or you're gonna forget and they're not gonna stick together. So let's get, I'll start with the fuzzy side, little fuzzies and put that on actually put one on wrong, but we'll just stick the other three on with the fuzzy sides on. Like I said, mine are very much stuck together and not fun to play with anymore. Next time I'll get a smaller pack. So these ones should probably last me forever. So you just stick them on like that. As you can see, I put one on wrong, but it's not going to affect it too much. The other three are pretty strong. Oh, I also forgot. I got these wooden letters from, I believe, Amazon, too. And it's just the full alphabet, little wooden letters. I got two of them because I use a lot of wooden letters. So you have your dots on. And then I cut out of felt, or people call it a bunch of different things, the color red and I put the fabric backer on it because the glue dots tend to stick better on there so it's kind of an iron-on thing I got it at Walmart and the iron on the back do it before you cut it out because it's not fun after you cut it out and then all you do is take your color take your wooden and stick it on And it stays on because I tested this outside for a week and they stayed on. So there you have it. Your little red one. Now, say you don't want red and your little girl's having a birthday party or you have a pink theme or anything else. Then all you do instead of going to buy a new banner, you take the red off. That easy. You set it to the side, save it you might need red again who knows and keep these things around for about 20 years and then you stick the next color on now I make mine smaller than the banner because I like the outline that's just a preference you can make it as big as the banner just don't cover your holes up so you can put the string through it and then also sorry, I got some fuzzies on there so what I do with the letters is I put the Velcro on them just the same. So this one, you're gonna put the, the rough side on, not the fuzzy side. And I have some done already because I use them all the time for my banners. And you just put it on and it sticks. And again, test it outside for about a week. Worked pretty good. And then you just put your letter on. I give it a little wiggle just to get it in there. And there you go. And straighten it out so it's not crooked. And there you have a totally different banner. 
And you can also, which I didn't do, I could show you, but you can paint these different colors. So say you want a white background or a black background or a wood background or a darker wood background, keep a set of each around. So you can always switch it up, make what you need, hang little things off the strings. If it, you know, you want to jazz it up a little bit, just save the strings and use them for a later date. Don't just throw them away. So I have one that does not have the Velcro dots on it. If you use the rough end on your wood piece, you can do the same thing without putting the dots on even, just wiggle it in. It stays pretty good. I just like the firmness of putting the dots on, knowing it's extra secure, especially since most of the time they're outside. If they're inside, just use one side of the dot and you're good to go. And you can just put other stuff on it and keep it in a little container. I have like these little dots. I think I got them from the dollar store and you can put them on just the same. Just put it, put your little dot on. I had them like that. You put your little letter on. Yeah, it does take an extra minute. I mean, it's not as convenient as going to the store, buying something you're gonna throw in the garbage, wasting your money away, but it's beautiful. And you just can't do better than that. And you can customize it to whatever you want. So here's another idea that I really like. So your baby's first birthday party, you, you made your cute banner, you have your color, you have your gem on, you have your letters on, and everybody that's at the party, say you have a happy birthday banner. You could use your first banner piece, which would be your H, I have an A on there right now, but you could use your H, and then, where did I put my marker? Your marker, and put, I'll put my daughter's name. I'm not the best writer, but, and this is her first birthday. I would definitely do a better writing than I did, but first birthday. Maybe put a little line and have your guest sign it. Who's at their first birthday party? Or even put a picture from their first birthday. And then every year, do the next tile. And then, I think, what is it, 12 years, 11 years? If you put a space in or not, you'll have a banner with a picture of every year or signatures from every year on their birthday party. Or you can even do a handprint or a footprint. From, hmm, I guess that would get too big. Never mind. Fingerprint, you can try that. And then, to keep it, you know without getting fancy, use some clear nail polish, paint it on there, it'll be there forever. You can do the acrylic too, but just be careful, that might get a little heavy on the banner, it'll be hanging down. So that's about all I have for today. Um, we'll be working on the next project, we're gonna make our own fluffers. If you don't know what a fluffer is, give me a second, I'll show you. This is a fluffer, and I made this, and it's out of fabric, and basically, when you're done with the party, you can throw it in the washer, and you put it away, and you're good to go. We'll go over this next week. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a show, and you don't miss a project or an idea. If you have any suggestions, comment, like, subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.